Hey second graders, today I'm going to show you guys how to do the write and draw activity, word work activity with your sight words. So the first thing we need to do is we need to learn how to fold a plain piece of paper into six sections so that you can practice drawing and writing six of your sight words. Now, I've got a piece of plain paper. If you have lined paper or scrap paper, that would work too. So first you're going to fold it in half just like this, line up your corners and crease it. Next, you're going to fold one side in, crease it, and then you're going to fold the other side over top, and it's okay if it doesn't line up perfectly, mine doesn't either, and crease it so that you end up with a little square. Now, you should be able to open it up and have six sections, one, two, three, four, five, six. So. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like to write and draw your sight words. So here I've got my paper separated into six sentences. The first thing that I did was made sure to write six of my sight words in my best handwriting at the bottom of the box. I've got the words sun, green, wish, house, read, and because. I want to talk to you guys about a couple of the strategies that I use to help me remember how to read and spell these words. For the word sun, I made sure to make my picture big and bright so that it would help my brain remember. For the word green, I decided to draw three different things that I knew were green. So I've got a tree, grass, and a green apple. For the word, word wish, I was having a hard time coming up with a picture. So I decided to write a sentence and then draw a picture about the sentence. So I used the word wish in a sentence by saying, I wish on a shooting star. And then I've drawn my picture of a shooting star. So hopefully the sentence and the picture will help me remember how to read and spell the word wish. For house, I drew a simple house and I made sure to use colors that I like using that will help me remember. For read, I decided to draw a book. And I drew a book that I had been reading lately called The Wild Robot. Then I drew a character from the book to help me remember that read is something I am reading right now. So the word because was another word, kind of like wish, that I was having a really hard time coming up with something to draw for. So there's another way that we can help our brain remember how to spell and read words, and that's by writing the word over and over again through repetition. So I decided to take at least six of my crayon colors and write over the word because so that my brain could remember. So my friends, if you're having a hard time coming up with what to draw, Rewriting your word in different colors is always a strategy as well. So if you wanted to challenge yourself and practice more than six words, you could always go on to the back where you have six more squares, or you could fold another paper. Also, I used crayons and pencil. You could use crayons, colored pencils, markers, um, to write your words. But remember, the most important thing is to practice your words using your best second grade handwriting and to make sure that you draw pictures that will help your brain remember. So that is how we do the write and draw word work activity. Happy writing, happy drawing. Talk to you guys soon.